everybody and welcome to today's little online tutorial so there is going to be three parts to this the first part we're going to take a look at Photoshop and how to set up a basic lower third inside of Photoshop then we're going to take a look at Premiere and how to build your animated open inside of Premiere and then lastly we will take a look at expressions and how to bring that lower third into expressions make it animate on and off and also make it a template so you're able to easily change out the name and title so you have that to use for your podcast we'll be doing during this class so the first thing you need to do is open up photoshop go to file go to new once you click on new you'll get the new document area we're going to go to film and video click on film and video we want to give it a name here so we'll call this lower third okay and then we want to make sure that our canvas setting is 1920 by 1080. I like to always make this 300 so everything looks nice and crisp. I like to also work on a transparent background and make sure that your aspect ratio is square pixels. And then click create and you will have this canvas show up in front of you. A couple important things. Some guidelines are automatically generated between this guideline and this guideline that is type safe or font safe so any font that you're using that you want to make sure appears on screen needs to be contained between these two guidelines next is image safe so from here to here any image that you want to make sure that appears on screen make sure it is between those two lines and then lastly this is the cropped area so depending on the different screens it could broadcast to this area could get cropped out so anything that is between your border and that guideline could get lost so basically anything important needs to stay between here 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 and here all right so let's talk about building a lower third so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring on kind of a reference graphic here so I just grabbed the Kent State K for a reference graphic so basically this will be our color palette and we will use this inside of our lower third so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it down to where I want it and I'm going to pull it up to about there then I'm going to click this little check mark to lock it in place so then the first thing I'm going to want to do is make a rectangle but before I do that I'm going to want to select the color I want that rectangle so I'm going to want that to be a blue rectangle so I'm going to come over here click on my little color swatch then I will get this little eyedropper and we will click on the Kent State Blue because I want it to be Kent State Blue and we will click OK then we'll click on our rectangle tool which is right here and we'll come to about here and here and we'll drag out our rectangle right across the screen We'll come over to our layer palette, which is right here, and we'll drag our layer behind the Kent State K. And so far, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe I want to move that down just a little bit like that. Perfect. Now I want to make another rectangle. So let's say we grab our rectangle tool and we drag out another rectangle right about there is where we want a rectangle but I don't want two blue rectangles I want that to be a gold rectangle this time so I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna click on this little tab and then I'll click on this color selector and I will click on the gold color and I'll click OK and that will make my rectangle gold now this doesn't look great with two big square rectangles like that so maybe we want to change the geometry of this rectangle so the first thing I'll do is come over here and I will select my move tool and then I will hold down command on a Mac and it will change from this little black arrow to this little white arrow like so and then when I click on the square that will allow me to change the geometry of that rectangle so I can make it have like a little bit of an arrow type deal kind of sort of make sure it looks good and then we will release so so far that looks pretty good 
now what I want to do is I want to clean this up just a little bit. So I'm going to come over to my layers palette and I want to drag the triangle layer behind the blue rectangle. That way I get this nice, sharp, crisp line right here. And now it's looking pretty good. But let's say that we want this lower third to be able to be used for two people. So right now we could have what the person does, monster truck driver, airplane pilot, chef, and then we can have their name. Say I want two people. I want the host name on this side, and then I want our guest name on this side. So I want to be able to duplicate this and basically flip this over to this side. So that's pretty easy to do. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift key and the option key, and then we will just click and drag it right over to the other side. And then we'll go up to edit. We'll go to transform path. We'll go to flip horizontally and boom. Now we have two mirroring graphics. So say we want to spice this up just a little bit. Maybe we'll come over and we'll click on this blue rectangle layer and it will open up our layer styles. We'll click on stroke. We'll put in a little white line like so click on stroke we can see we can adjust that spacing of that white line however we want and if I wanted another stroke I could click this plus icon I already have mine always set up for two strokes so I click this that will add our gold color in for us and I can adjust that gold spacing and now we are set up for a lower third for our podcast. Now here you could put in placeholder text, but you don't need to do that because we are going to set up all of our text inside of expressions. That way we can have it be a template. There's one last thing we need to do with our project before we are ready to save. And that is we want to go to uh, each one of our layers and we're going to right click on them and we're going to scroll down to where it says rasterize layer and we want to make sure that every one of our layers is rasterized once you have all of your shapes rasterized there's one other thing that you need to do any shape layer that's using layer styles you need to right click on it and scroll down to where it says rasterize layer styles that way when you bring it into expressions it appears correctly for you this is also a good time to make sure that all of your layers are named correctly that way when you're inside of expressions you can easily know which one is which all right now that everything is done for our lower third and our project file is set up we're going to go to file we're going to go to save as and then it'll be lower third and we just want to make sure that that is saved as a Photoshop PSD file. And we can save that right on our desktop. And now we're ready to bring that into expressions and turn it into a template for our podcast.